What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron Nitmar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Mario Kart Wii. This time we're going to be doing the Lightning Cup on 150cc, and it's going to be the final 150cc Grand Prix Cup. So why don't we go ahead and hop on into it. Um, see, I used Funky Kong last time, and I used Toad the time before that. So why don't we go ahead and use a medium character this time. Um... Why don't we go ahead and use Yoshi? I don't really ever use Yoshi. And, uh, well, why not? And I guess I'll... I guess I'll use... Whatever's closest to the mock bike without using the mock bike. I guess the standard bike would be closest. Oh, screw it, mock bike, let's go. It's what I'm most used to. Let's do it. Alright, Lightning Cup. Final, final Retro Cup. And it's also the final, uh... 150cc uh, Grand Prix that we're going to be doing. So, go ahead and let's do it. I don't know, I'm weird. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get started. This one, this track is kind of short. I've always, like, it looks long in the thing, but once you get going to the, the 150cc speeds that you do, it, it like, like, like it just it just goes by way too quickly for me. I feel. Go 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 go. All right. Um. Turn. Cut across this way. There we go. Take that. Oh no. Crap. The one thing I hate about the mock bike is the turns that can get so uh so swift and so sharp that sometimes it's hard to you know properly. Uh, I don't know, accommodate for the proper space that you're intending to accommodate for, so... I don't know, whatever that means. You know, it's just hard to gauge where, uh... Where to go? Crap. Alright. Grab that. Good. Alright, triple bananas. Let's go. Get out of here, Dry Bones. You are not gonna get me with that. You are not gonna get me with that. I promise you. Ha! Cut you off. No, he's gonna get the draft. Please don't get the draft. Alright, I just think I turned before it was too late. Alright, go. Alright. Oh crap, almost ran into my own trap there. Oh, um, by the way guys, get out of here, King Boo. Um, let me know how the audio quality is on this episode, because, um, I've been getting comments lately saying that my audio has been sounding different and uh, that I just, I just don't sound the same. So let me know if this helps. I kind of had a, a retarded moment where I, I've had a snowball, a blue snowball, which is the microphone I use. I've had that for about, um, I want to say I've had it for like several months now. I've had it since about halfway through Ocarina of Time, but you know, that's such a long project, I don't know. But, um... I've had it for several months now, and this entire time I did not know that the, you know, actual microphone portion of it actually, like, tilted upwards. I mean, I, I suspected it did, but, gah, but I never, um, actually tried it, and then, like, like I, I saw a video of a setup, and his, like, I saw a blue snowball, and his was angled upwards, so I was like, alright, so maybe it does work, and it turns out it does. And it's just, on mine, I don't know, it just took more, uh, I don't know, it took, took more to, uh, to, to move it than I, I had expected to, so I turned it upwards, so now it, there's, it's literally like I'm talking straight into it, whereas before I was, you know, sort of leaning forward and I was, you know, it wasn't getting the direct quality that it could have, but this time I am, and I'm looking at the, uh, the audio levels right now, and they look far, uh, far better than they have. Uh, like half before like I'm getting higher levels all around so I'm hoping hoping that this episode is uh, brought, being brought to you in better audio quality than uh, past episodes. So come on right after I threw my green shell are you serious so that's what I'm hoping I don't know it, it, it might be uh, oh yeah blow them up blow them up oh I didn't need to go that way oh well we'll, we'll roll with it um, so yeah I'm hoping that will uh, this will, will sort of make better my audio quality. I don't know, I just sort of had a brain fart dumb moment there. Living up to my blonde hair and its uh, true 
power or something like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's that. Just go ahead and leave me a comment if uh, if it sounds any different. That would be I'd be much appreciative of that. And come on, get out of here, King Boo. Oh, almost night toad. Almost night toad. Come on, get the draft. Oh, come on, get the draft. Get the draft. Get the draft. Yeah. All right. Oh, I thought I almost didn't get an item there. Oh, my head is just getting on straight away. Ah, so close. It's a good thing I'll catch up here. Ah. Crap. How is he going so fast? He's a big character. Big characters have horrible acceleration. Unless he had a mushroom. No, because he would lose his items. I don't... What is this? Hacks. Alright, grab that item. Nice. Come on. This is crap. They're so close. Look at this! Are you kidding me? They're all so close together! Come on, draft, draft. Go. Come on, get a good item. Give me like a golden or something. Good enough. Alright, that should hit him right as it wears off. Alright, second's not bad. I was trying- I was, I was aiming for the guy with the, uh, the star, I think. Yeah, dry bones. I was hoping it was gonna hit him, um, just, um, just, just when his star ran out. But I guess uh, the star makes you immune from getting locked on to with uh, red shells. And yes, DK Mountain. Oh man, this is. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, um, Mario Kart Double Dash tracks from obviously from Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it just stuck with me. I think I mentioned that in my Mario Kart DS, or Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Double Dash LP, in fact, um, that it was my favorite course, or at least one of my favorites. I don't know, it's hard to, you know, think back, whereas in the actual LP I was looking at all the courses. Um, that's one thing I will praise the, uh, the Mario Kart DS for, was bringing in um, the, in the introduction of Retro Cups, you know, they finally had enough to reuse, um, where they would set aside like special cups just for past courses. That was what. That's something I really like because it's just sort of like, like you hit, you hit with nostalgia. Like you see SNES Rainbow Road and you're just like, oh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Or, or, or like now, DK Mountain. Now I can play it in widescreen and with the bikes. So. Oh, and I, I was thinking about one thing I said in the last episode of Mario Kart. It was that um, I wanted both bikes and uh, double partners back. Obviously, they wouldn't be able to do both. Maybe have like a special special mode just for um, double characters or something. I don't know. But I still want I still want double characters back and the mini boost. The only that's the only really thing I liked about the. Uh, the bikes was be able to be able the ability to wheelie. So that's what I want. I'm not gonna talk about that. I spent literally 15 minutes the last time talking about that. Alright. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Didn't get the trick off, but yeah, that's right. I break through your stuff. Alright, need that sabotage. Need that sabotage. All I'm gonna do is fake item boxes. Come on now. Seriously, three in a row. And it's only the second lap. Of course, I've got this large lead. They're not going to give me very many other items. Oh, come on. I just looked backwards, too, and it wasn't. The, the blue shell wasn't even in sight. That came out of nowhere. Oh, another thing to want. I want Wii U. Total. Total. Um, some way to balance the blue shell, because that's just overpowered. If you're in first place and you get hit with the blue shell in the third lap... You're pretty much done. Even anywhere near like the second half of the third lap, you're done. So they need they need some way to balance it. I like how they made it so um, other characters can get hit by the blue shell too, and not just you. But that's not enough. Like the the, the blue shell was set on a path, and there's so many players all around the track that it, it it's it's it's, in, it's very slim that you would just hit every player or hit a majority of the players. You hit maybe one or two max, but there just needs to be a way to, to make that, to balance it. Alright, there we go. 
Alright. Bowser's Castle. Do, 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 do. Get out of here, sleeping swamps. We know you're not sleeping. Look at that endless lava. How would, how would we even get here? Like, like if you look at the endless... Look at that endless lava. There's just... There's no way you'd be able to get here. Unless all the Lakitus flew us from somewhere. I mean, I guess that's conceivable. They all carry us. and Although they don't carry us for large amounts of distance. They pick us up out of the lava and then... Uh, I don't know. Thinking too much into this, Aaron. Too much into this. I'll get out of the way. Oh, just barely made it. Oh, I actually hit somebody. I was I was about to say it's probably not gonna hit anybody, but looks like the game proved me wrong once again. Ah, I faced just All right, that's good. We're better. I will save these two for. That's just what I thought. Red shell. Oh, it hit the wall. Nice. We didn't have to waste a banana. All right. I've always wanted to ride on the side and be able to do the, the double, I don't know, the double drift. I have no idea how to do that. It's so, like I do it and fall into lava or do it and run into the wall on either side. Oh, come on. I, you know I hit the drift button. You know I hit that R button. I've always found it weird that the B button is also the drift. Like, I know now it's like... Factually correct, like when you break, you're drifting. But I don't know. That's just I don't know how many people actually use that. The um, your finger's already on the R button, so you might as well use the R button. Moving using the B button. I don't know. I'm just still thinking more into this. Probably has something to do with the port and how the Wii remote has uses the B button, so they just lined up the controls like that. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. All right, King Boo's just behind me. I can see him in the mini map. There he is. It hit. Oh, he went the other way. I can hear a red shell, so I don't know if that was for me or what. But ah, and I bet King Boo has a red shell or something. There we go. They got me a protective barrier, unless a blue shell or a, a pow block or lightning comes out of nowhere. Every time, man, I've avoided getting hit by that, uh, that thwomp right in the middle. It's always been straight down the middle. Usually it's on the side for me. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I can pick it up and, or pick up on weird patterns like that. Alright. Do that. Spiral upwards, even a, a spiral upward uh, sky uppercut. Go on the other side this time because we're being, being being unique. I'd stop at the finish line, but by the time I actually stopped, King Boo would already pass. Although I didn't beat him by 11 seconds. That's ridiculous, man. Wow, that that seems like a lot, pretty much, because he he was right behind me the whole time. That's weird, huh? I'm starting to question the uh, the accuracy of these these timers. Yoshi is the winner with the. How is he jumping on that bike while he's driving? That is. He would fall off so quick. That's always been something that never actually would happen. It's like kids don't actually try this because you'll fall off, but let's throw it in a kids game anyways. I don't know. Of course, he's a dinosaur driving a thing and he eat driving a bike and he eats uh, I don't even know all right that's it for this episode uh next time I don't know if there's gonna be a next time
There might not be a next time, guys. You better, you better, you better be, you better be afraid. You better be very afraid. Be very, very afraid. But I'll see you next time when we start up the mirror mode for another eight cups. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.